eat safe. This is the theme of this year's World Environment Day. It's a message that links food, our, live, our lifestyle to the environment. It's a very important issue that we need to understand. But we also need to understand that we could go completely wrong in the solutions. One part of the world believes that the reason there is such huge wastage of food is because farmers in our world, the poor farmers, are not a waste food on the farm, that there is huge amount of food that is lost in transportation, there is no cold storage tray, uh, uh, chains that can keep the food and so there is food that is lost and that this then leads to the solution that we need large retail in the food business, we need big business to come into food. Now this could get the world completely on the wrong path as, as far as saving the environment is concerned. We are eating, we are growing food that is costing us the earth is because we have an agricultural system in the world which is, which is making us grow food which is more expensive which then means governments have to subsidize it and we know the fact that the European Union or the US today obsc pays obscene amounts to their farmers to subsidize them to grow food. All this means that poor farmers of the world, whether it's in Africa, whether it is in India, have to compete in this extremely distorted food market. They have absolutely no option then to be able to overuse the natural resources, whether it is land, whether it is water. So if you're serious about fixing food and growing food that can save the planet, then the one thing we need is to get rid of the terrible subsidy system that the rich world has adopted to protect its farmers. It's costing us the earth. We need to link food to our life, our own lifestyle, our own diet. We, gr we eat rice today and how many of us have even thought about the fact that how long, since how long have we been eating that rice? We eat rice when it's not part of our diet. It was part of the diet in parts of the world where there was enough water. So they used rainfall to grow rice, which uses a lot of water. And that rain, in fact, helped the environment because it recharged groundwater as well. Today, we are growing rice in areas which are water scarce. And that's because we've forgotten that actually our tradition was to eat water prudent crops like millets. So if we are really serious about thinking about what we need to eat, what we need to save, then the most important issue is connect food with our lifestyle. Make the right choices. That's the only way to go.